is up guys it is the turtle girl welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel today is a very special video some of you might recognize this little piece of equipment this is my diy plastic bin basking area and fun little fact it was this video that i uploaded four years ago about how to make this basking area that I really started kicking off my channel and making videos consistently. And that was almost exactly four years ago. It was in August of 2017. Kind of hard to believe that I've been doing YouTube for that long. Um, but I thought it would be fun to revisit this video and actually show you guys how to make a DIY plastic bin basking area. That video was kind of just a walkthrough, but I have yet to actually do an assembly video. So that is what this is today. If you look behind me here, I have all of my supplies, so let's get right into it. All right, first off, for the main body of the basking area, you could say the main component, you are going to need some kind of plastic bin. It can be a Sterilite tote, it can be something from the dollar store. Basically, the idea is that whatever you choose should be big enough for your turtle. I have this six quart bin, like this could be something used for hatchling turtles. This here is a 15 quart Sterilite tub that I used for my turtles that were up to like four inches, five inches I would say. This would be a good size basking area. If you have like a red eared slider or a larger turtle, you could use a plastic sweater bin, but basically you just need to pick up some kind of plastic bin. Doesn't even have to be plastic, just something to the effect of a box that can be cut. Except don't do cardboard that would probably be a bad idea and end up really bad. But the great thing about plastic bins is that they're gonna run you really, really cheap. This six quart is probably a dollar at like a Target or a Walmart. 15 quart, you might pay three to four dollars. Very, very inexpensive, very, very doable. So this is a cheap basking area as well. So that's thing number one. The next thing you're gonna need is an extra piece of plastic. You can use the lid of your plastic tote, something you have lying around. And then also for supplies, I just made a mess. I did not mean to spill a million zip ties everywhere, but that is just what happened. Next up is zip ties. These handy dandy things that you can, you know, they go like this and you can zip tie them. I kind of just wasted one, but y'all know what zip ties are. Get yourself a pack of these. These are also super duper inexpensive. And then optionally, you're gonna want something kind of grippy for the ramp. This is just rubber shelving liner. Can be picked up at any store like Walmart or Target. This is gonna only be a couple dollars as well. I think you can also find this at the dollar store. But those are the basic things that you're going to need. Any other embellishments can be as you please, but this is the simplest way to do it. And then as far as tools, it's also really simple. What you're gonna want is a pair of scissors a carpet cutter or razor blade of some sort to cut through the plastic, and then also a drill with a like really small skinny uh, drill bit on there. For step number one, I am going to take my box cutter razor blade and I'm going to cut out the hole where the turtle can go up to bask where the ramp is. You guys can kind of see that right there. You want this hole to be at least a couple inches wider than your turtle's shell so that they have plenty of space to get up there. You also want it taller than like the height of your turtle, I guess you could say. I mean, most aquatic turtles are pretty like skinny, I guess you could say, um, but you wanna make sure that their shell can go all the way up there and that you can fit the ramp so that it goes in. So at this point, your bin should kind of look like this. Uh, hopefully you're able to get this edge a little bit cleaner. Scoring helps a lot, but again, you can always cover this with decorations or whatever. Um, but at this point, your bin should kind of look like this where you have the opening in the front. And then what we're gonna do is kind of cut off this front part right here. Step number two, you are going to take your extra piece of plastic or whatever you are using to make your ramp and cut that out. You wanna make sure that the size of this ramp corresponds to the size of the hole you cut in the bin so that you can attach it, as you can see here with this one right there, there's the ramp. One thing you can do to help with this is kind of use this piece of plastic that you cut as a template 
and then cut a piece of plastic that's a little bit smaller than this so it can be used as the ramp and what you want is a piece that is going to be longer so it will extend into the water like this one you can see this additional plastic piece that serves as the ramp it's a bit longer than the piece that we cut off All right, so now with our bin and our ramp cut, this ramp has to get attached here. So we're gonna drill holes onto both this plastic, this clear plastic part and the ramp part and then zip tie them together. Okay, so we are almost done. Now you can see we kind of have the skeleton of the basking area here. What you may have to do is just kind of bend this platform so that it has a bit of an angle going into the water. You can also heat up this part right here to kind of bend it more permanently. Like I said earlier also, when you're cutting your ramp, you can make this however long you need to reach into the tank. So once you've got the angle of your basking area all figured out, what you can then do is take some of your shelving liner and what you can do is actually hot glue this to the basking ramp. Super duper simple way to give it some grip. I'm actually not gonna be using this for a turtle, so I'm not actually going to use my shelving liner on this because I can use it for other things, but the idea is you use the shelving liner or some other material to provide more grip onto the basking ramp. Okay, so imagine we have done that for the basking area. Now, the very last thing to do is to just kind of stabilize this area here too, because you can see if the turtle were to go onto this, it's it's kind of flimsy. So what I initially did with my first version of this is I had like these wire coat hangers that kind of helped stabilize the ramp, but these ended up actually, they did end up rusting, not that it was really a problem, um, but I did find another way you can do it. So basically you just drill holes up here and in your ramp. And then what I'm actually gonna do is use zip ties instead of hangers. All right, so now I have a hole up here and a hole down here. And what I'm gonna do is kind of make a chain of zip ties going down. So now as you can see, there is kind of like a suspension chain of zip ties that prevents this from bending super far and holds the basking area so that it'll be able to hold the weight of the turtle. I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the other side as well. And so now the basking area, the ramp is going to stay like this. There's certainly better solutions than just using zip ties. That is what I had on hand. But as you can see, this basking area is now nice and firm if the turtle were to climb up it. And there you have it, the DIY plastic bin basking area. You can then rest this on the side of your tank, mount it, screw it into the wall. You guys have seen the videos where I use this basking area for many, many years for both Hoku and Nemo. It's kind of hard to believe it's been like four years since I've made this basking area, um, but the design definitely worked. So if you do make a basking area like this uh, and you post a picture of your tank or something, just tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see what you guys come up with. It has just been so fun to do this little DIY project with you all. If you did enjoy it, feel free to drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all next Friday. Have a totally awesome day. Bye.